Hi and welcome. So let's see the question of even matrix from June long challenge 2020. Okay. So the question says Seth has a has integer n and he wants to generate a matrix M with n rows and n columns. So he needs to generate a square matrix of n rows and n columns and this matrix name is M. Fine. He thinks that M would be delicious if so these are the conditions each element in the matrix is an integer between 1 to n square. Okay. The first condition. The second condition is all the elements in the matrix are pairwise distinct and the third condition is what is written here. So we will discuss this. Can you help generate a delicious matrix? It can be proved that a solution always exists. If there are multiple solutions, you may find any one. Fine. So for n equals to 2, this is one of the delicious matrix. So it is nothing but 1, 2, 4, 3. Now let's see the third condition because that is an important one. So what the third condition is saying for each square matrix containing cells in row R through R plus A and in column C through C plus A for some valid integers R, C and A these two conditions should hold. So for each and every square matrix inside this particular matrix. So this whole itself is also is a square matrix and each and every element here is also a, itself is a square matrix of 1 into 1 of 1 cross 1 and this whole is a square matrix of 2 cross 2 fine. So each square matrix should hold this condition. So now what is the condition is that let's suppose R value is 0, C value is 0 and A value is also 0. So in this just fulfill it M of 0 comma 0 plus M of 0 plus 0 is 0 M of 0 comma 0. So it is nothing but 1 plus 1 which is nothing but 2 which is even and Similarly for the second one, it is also m of 0 comma 0 plus m of 0 comma 0, which is again even. So both the conditions for these values are satisfying. There is nothing but for this square matrix. Similarly, if we see for this square matrix, a is 0, r is nothing but row is 0 and column is 1. Now for this, if you fulfill it, it is again 2 plus 2, okay, all the time. So it is nothing but m of 0 comma 1 plus m of 0 comma 1. So 2 plus 2 is 4, which is an even. And again, it is m of 0 comma 1 plus m of 0 comma 1 again 2 plus 2 which is 4 which is even so each and every single element will definitely follow it fine now let's increase the value of a if we increase the value of a it will become something like this so if a equals to 1 r equals to 0 and c equals to 0 what are the matrix a m of 0 comma 0 r comma c plus m of r plus a c plus a it is nothing but m of 1 comma 1 so it is nothing but addition of these two values 3 plus 1 which is giving me an even value 4 and similarly the second one will be 4 plus 2 which is giving me a value of 6 both are even fine so for each and every of these values the conditions of these two conditions should should satisfy fine we need to print such a matrix so let's see for more cases like this fine so let's see for the case of n equals to 3 if n equals to 3, fine, that means the matrix will be of 3 cross 3 size. So let's say we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. These are the values. So from 1 to n square. So 3 square is 9. So 1 to n square values. Everyone is distinct. So first two conditions are done. For the third condition, we need to check with each and every sub square matrix so individual elements are definitely square matrices they are not an issue okay so let's check for this particular matrix is this following the condition okay so uh, 1 plus 5 is 6 yes it is even 4 plus 2 is 6 yes it is even so this one is following the condition similarly we have to check for this is this following the condition 2 plus 6 is 8 and 5 plus 3 is 8 yes this is following the condition both are even fine so what are the value for this a equals to 1 r equals to 0 and c equals to 1 if you see for this particular scenario it is nothing but m of 0 m of 0 comma 1 plus m of 1 comma 2 fine so this is nothing but m 0 comma 1 and this is nothing but 1 comma 2 fine so 2, 4, 6 plus 2 is 8 which is even similarly it is m of 0 uh, m of 0 comma 2 plus m of 1 comma 1 okay so it is m of 0 comma 2 plus 1 comma 1 0 comma 2 plus 1 comma 1 so it is 5 plus 3 which is nothing but 8 fine so they are even so it is satisfying now similarly check for each and every square matrix this is also a square matrix 7 plus 5 is 12 4 plus 8 is 12 uh, it is satisfying now we check for this 8 plus 6 is 14 9 plus 5 is 14 it is also satisfying so that means what each and every square and the total square matrix it is it satisfying 1 plus 9 and 7 plus 3 both are even so yes it is also satisfying so this is nothing but for a value equals to 2 the whole square matrix so 
we have to form such as matrix we, have, we can simply print this for n equals to 3 this is a correct answer there can be other met, uh, delicious matrix as well so 1 2 3 4 5 6 uh, 7 8 9 this is also one of the uh, delicious matrix for n equals to 3 fine so we have to print just one of the answers so for n equals to 3 we got it directly we got the correct answer now let's say for n equals to 4 so it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 fine so in this particular scenario individual elements are fine no issue okay so what about this particular matrix is it following 6 plus 1 is 7 no it is not following okay so we need actually in the diagonal parts here we need odd odd or even even because odd plus odd will give me even and even plus even will give me even okay so we have need or so what we can do we can swap these areas it's simple we just have these two we can swap so one two six five will this work yes this will work one plus five is six and six plus two is eight this is working fine now similarly we can check for this also so here again eight plus three is eleven no it is not working so we need to swap this either we can swap the upper ones or the lower ones it is uh, we just need odd plus odd and even plus even plus even in the diagonals okay so 3 4 and 8 7 so 7 plus 3 is even and 8 plus 4 is even this is also fine similarly what we can do is we can check for this particular scenario exact same thing 9 plus 14 is not even so it is 9 10 14 13 now it's fine 9 plus 13 is 22 and this is also even and 11 12 16 15 again we are we are simply swapping these area simply swapping these to form our delicious matrix for uh, sub square matrices okay so also this is one of the sub square matrix we have correct so it, ten, six, uh, when we swap 6 plus 10 is fine and 9 plus 15 is fine uh, it is even okay so for this also we can check again yes it is even so no issue and for the whole 4 into 4 matrix so 1 plus 15 is 16 and 14 plus 4 is yes this is also fine so we can print this matrix instead of this the original matrix that we were having okay we need to print this matrix because this is a delicious matrix each and every sub square matrix uh, is following the condition that is given to us okay and the whole matrix is also following the condition that is given to us so for n equals to 4 we can do simply do this so for n equals to 5 if we see so individual elements are fine so 1 plus 7 6 plus 2 it is also working 2 plus 8 7 plus 3 working 3 plus 9 is odd even sorry it is even it is also even this is also even this is also even this is also this is also yeah, you can see the whole uh, this is completely satisfying each and every criteria so there are many square matrices that will be formed here it, it will be a 3 by 3 matrix right here this is nothing but a 3 by 3 matrix okay so uh, 1 plus 13 and 11 plus 3 yes it is working so there are many 3 by 3 matrices inside it there is a 4 by 4 matrix also so 1 plus 19 6 plus 4 yes it is working so this matrix is perfectly working for n equals to 5 we have also seen that n equals to 3 also the matrix perfectly works without any changes uh, is this the same case for n equals to 7 when you draw it you will find out yes it is the same case for n equals to 7 so if n is odd okay we can simply print our directly 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9, 9 like this if n is odd but if n is even this is not working so let's say we have a n uh, we have n equals to 6 so for n equals to 6 how the matrix will look let's see so this is for n equals to 6 now for n equals to 6 as you can see uh, this is not working here so we need to swap these two values fine if we swap these two values so it will become 1 2 8 7 3 4 9 and 10 as you can see now uh, we need to swap again these two values correct because if we do not swap it and if we check for this particular matrix 9 plus 2 is not working so it is 1 2 8 7 3 4 10 9 and yes now it is working now again when we do this we need to swap these two fine so for this we need adjacent swapping then again for this we will need adjacent swapping then again for this we will need adjacent swapping correct so it is nothing but 3 10 4 9 then it will be 5 12 and 6 11 now see all these are working correctly okay all our sub square matrix are following the conditions similarly we, have, we will move forward so it is 13 14 uh, which is fine 15 16 which is fine 17 18 which is fine okay this is fine now now when we move here we again need swapping fine and uh, you can see in the previous matrix also when we swapped uh, see this is like this this is odd means just an observation this is odd this is even this is odd this is even uh, then even odd even odd then odd even odd even then even odd even odd okay and similarly we will form something like this only here 
fine so this implementation is also very simple for this if n is odd then we can simply print the matrix if n is even then for uh, if uh, we see odd rows so it is 0 1 2 3 4 5 so for odd number of rows okay when i mod 2 i mod 2 is not equal to 0 i mod i mod 2 is not equal to 0 okay in that particular scenario uh, we need to swap the adjacent elements fine and we need to print the matrix so this is one of the solution for this particular question there are uh, there are other solutions also i will show you two solutions that is for this one and there is one more and uh, this one that i am going to just tell you is uh, this is nothing but uh, what i observed and coded it fine there is one more so this is also very good so if n equals to 4 let's say so it is 1 2 3 4 fine and it is 5 6 7 8 then 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 fine so we swap these values correct because we need here even number and uh, odd number then even number then odd number correct so isn't this just we have odd even odd even and we need even odd even odd so isn't it like uh, reverse of this see it is even odd even odd so what we can do is we can simply reverse this list uh, the second row so it will become 8 7 6 5 and now it will follow uh, this e1 or d1 or that we need fine then uh, for 9 10 11 12 it is fine then again we have 13 14 15 16 so here we have odd even odd even but we need even odd even odd to for the matrix so we can simply print this in reverse manner so it is 16 15 14 13 now it is following even odd even odd criteria and it is following odd even odd even criteria okay so after making the some matrices till n equals to 8 so this uh, become till n equals to 7 actually this becomes very clear fine so there are two approaches uh, that i that uh, that i will be showing in uh, implementation one is this so this is a little big approach uh, to implement and this is a pretty direct approach to implement you can see this is like this one second it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 like this correct and this one is nothing but simple adjacent swapping fine so let's see the implementation for both of these now so let's see the implementation this is for the first approach that is the adjacent swapping approach we simply take the array and we initialize all the values to zero initially then we simply are doing what one two three four five six every time and initial initialization of the array elements fine now if it is odd if n is odd we can simply print whatever we have initialized okay if it is not odd then what we have to do we need to check whether if uh, the row we are calculating is even or odd okay if it is even that is i mod 2 equal to equal to 0 then we can simply print it directly that row okay but if that row is not even that is the row is odd so that means we need to swap that means first we need to print the j plus 1 element and then we need to print the jth element fine and since we are printing two elements at one time so therefore we are skipping a particular j okay that means we are incrementing j two times here fine and this is nothing but rest is we are simply we are simply printing it and nothing else if it if the row is or even print directly if the row is odd in that case just swap and print okay first j plus one element and then the jth element and nothing else fine so uh, this was one of the implementations and uh, let's see the another one as well so this is the second implementation till here it is same that means we are simply making one two three four five six seven eight nine such a matrix fine so if it is an even row we are printing it directly same as before but if it is an odd row okay so if for in that case we are printing it from a reverse position that is j equals to n minus one j is greater than or equal to zero j minus minus and print it fine i told you we can reverse the odd rows so we are reversing the odd rows and directly printing it fine so this is the second implementation first just take the array as input the matrix as input then initialize the matrix and for even condition and for the odd condition print the matrix accordingly fine there can be other solutions as well okay thank you